Welcome everybody. Today's video is an awesome video. Um, it's the new Mercurial Vapor 14. It just came out. If you were lucky to be um, a Nike member, then you got early access to it. I'm a Nike member, obviously, so I got the early access to it. I was um, expecting the Superfly to come out as well, but they postponed that. And at work, it did say that they were gonna come out the 29th, which is today. Right now, as I'm recording this, it is the 27th, um, so maybe two more days. But then when I checked earlier today, it said it wasn't going to come out till February 10th. So I don't know if they're going to give early access again um, to members on the 29th and then wait for the global release to come out February 10th. You just never know. Sometimes um, releases don't happen when they say and you just got to be patient and you got to be checking all the time. That's why it's important if you're a member to sign up if you're not. Um, cause you'll get those notifications, you get those updates. Um, sometimes it doesn't always work, but for the most part, you're pretty informed and it's a great, it's a great thing to have just because you're going to be in the loop with everything. So without further ado, man, let's get into this. This is a brand new shoe. I've never seen these in hand. Um, so should it be exciting? There's something about always getting a, a brand new, um, style silhouette. Uh, shoe, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's always fun. And I didn't really do my research on, on the tech specs. And I'm going to be honest, I'm going to read off of you on Nike's website what they said. These are so new. Not a lot of people really knew. I don't think what they really, what new stuff was in them because any anything, any changes from the 13, because I feel like they kept it pretty secret until release when people actually had them in hand. All the other people that had them already, um, like I said, again, they didn't really talk about them that much, but here it is, the Vapor 14 Elite in the FG, obviously, because I don't really play on soft ground that much, although it does rain a lot in Florida, but it's just mud when it does rain. So are you ready? I don't know if I'm ready. When I saw these, now usually when you see a, a new colorway or new cleat, you know, a new boot for the first time, when you see the pictures, you kind of, I always, for the most part, I'm always underwhelmed. I'm never like blown away, but these, these really did catch my eye. And, oh my goodness, they, they are fantastic. Look at this. I can already tell based off what other people said, it is a tad, tad bit heavier. That doesn't mean that they're heavy now, don't get me wrong, but I can sense there is a little weight difference. It's weird, it's weird how you know that. But yeah, basically this is based off the um, dragonflies, what they're using. In, other, in previous years, they, they used the cheetah, but this time they went with the dragonfly. And to me, no one has pointed this out in other videos, but that bottom, the bottom kind of looks like a dragonfly, you know, with their tail and stuff. Obviously, this is wouldn't be part of a dragonfly, but this reminds me of a dragonfly. I don't know why no one has um, stated that, but when I saw images, the, the blackout versions of players, doesn't this just look like fat to you? Like, it looks very weird. That's the only thing. I don't know what it is, but that it just looks like a wider, <laughs> a wider, um, boot this time but obviously the difference is going to be this that goes down the middle it is no longer a split sole um and that's gonna i guess provide um stability um but yeah so what we have with the mercurial is just what it it kind of resembles if you're familiar with the off-white how it's kind of like reversed the uh, or torn apart type of thing broke um broken apart that's kind of what these remind me of um now on the inside okay so yeah that's the concept that they went with kind of bringing down the cleat for you and showing you um showing you basically what where everything is all right so i'm gonna put this here let's start with um in the insole I actually will tell does tell you what the numbers mean so we got number one it says avail Q lining that would be anywhere there's pink on the boot 
Um, and then number two, a speed band that goes across the front. Um, number three is vamp lining. So anything around in the green area that goes around there. Uh, four, a tow reinforcer, which I imagine is gonna be all this orange part here. Um, number five, the speed collar package. Um, I don't really know. Okay, the orange, anything orange. So even, I guess this would be considered part of that, which is a different look. I wonder if this wasn't there, then it looks more like a vapor. This kind of changes the, the look a little bit, I would say, but not by much. Uh, and then the six speed wings. Let's see, where is number six? Okay, this, these little things that probably do nothing and aren't gonna help you run faster. And then seven is um, Flyknit, which is what we are more accustomed to. So basically this is not a full Flyknit boot, which is what we had in the 13. Um, and a little bit different, obviously. Um, but what do you guys think about the look? Just, just about the look. What do you think? You guys like that? Do you like the, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't think of the word. Um, dissected maybe? Is that the word I'm looking for? Very off-white vibes. Um, but let's read more on what Nike's website has to say. So it says, look fast, play fast. The Nike Mercurial Vapor 14 Elite FG features a stripped down design that uses the minimal amount of materials possible so you can play your fastest from start to finish. A cushioned insole gives you non-stop comfort and a specially designed plate provides instant responsiveness for quicker cuts at high speeds. I mean, to me, the Vapor has always been known for that, to have very good attraction for you to be faster. Um, but, so I think they've changed something in the cleat in this, I wanna say maybe in these look a little different. Darn, I have one over there, but I don't wanna get up to get it. <laughs> Um, so there's, they've changed that, I think a little bit. So, um, okay. Minimal components for max speed stripped down version of the Flyknit upper is the first of its kind. Minimal materials leave only what is truly needed while reducing its weight in the process. Dig in, take off. The four foot plate features a Nike aero track zone with grooves for explosive acceleration. Chevron studs provide multi-directional traction with every speed. Um, and then it says, grip and go. Nike grip technology in the insole um, helps prevent your foot from sliding when the game heats up. So yeah, um, different upper, um, a lot. I, I kind of, I, I wonder if this will be the only one that is like this, like maybe this is like a kind of special edition. I really don't think that they'll continue with doing this for all the cleats. I think this was just like, you know, some marketing and it's, you know, why not? You know, I think, I think it's pretty cool. I, I really love this colorway. Again, it's a white cleat that's going to get dirty, but you know, we're kind of accustomed to that by now. I would think let's pull these over here. Uh, but what do you guys think? Do you like that? Do you like it? I love it, I think. I think it's a fabulous boot. A lot of people said that it reminded them of the Zoom. Zoom Maker that was supposed to come out. I, it, these aren't that, because there's no, I'm pretty sure there's no Zoom in this. They would have said that in the um, in the numbering. Oh, let's, take a, let's check out the, the mesh bag, yeah? Got with that. Or not the mesh bag. What am I talking about? Let's say the boot bag. <laughs> Look at that. Basically telling you everything that it's made up of. And then it has, it's pink. It's got orange straps, blue straps. Very nice, very nice bag for sure. Kind of cool. Um, uh, I like that. But I love these, I love these for sure. And I can't wait to do a boot test to really, really test them out because again, like I was, you know, I'm starting to understand this, that no matter what tech specs the boots have, at the end of the day, what's important is, do you recommend them? Are they comfortable? Um, those are the important things to me, 
I can sit here and tell you exactly what is in the boot, how it's made. I can tell you when was it made, how long does it take to make it? Who cares? Who cares, right? And just because we see the pros wearing it or our favorite player wearing it, does that matter? You know, I don't believe that the pros are wearing this same boot. They get fitted special boots. They get different insoles, especially made for them. Their boots are actually really, really molded to their foot. I believe when they're given a boot, it's already ready for them, broken in and everything. I don't think they have to do much breaking in. Um, unlike we do for the retail version. Um, so just remember that, man. No matter what tech specs, you know, someone can sit up here and look very smart or like they know so much about the boot. Um, but then at the end of the day, if they don't really try it and they're recommending it or a lot of these people will, will review, no, no, no knock to them, but they'll review a boot and then the next day they have another one and the next day they have another one and the next day they have another one where they don't really put the time into actually testing out the boot. Now, I know a lot of these people live in the winter and they say they try out the boot, but the boot is brand new. I'm again, no knock, no disrespect to anybody, but you know, how are you trying the boot really? How are you you're really recommending it to people and you really don't know, you're, you're guessing on how it feels. You put it on for a little bit with some socks and that doesn't really um, mean that it's a, it's a good boot and you have to really test it out. So um, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for um, a play test and, and my real thoughts on what the boot is like. All right. So thanks for watching guys. And we'll see you guys in the next one very, very, very soon. Peace.